The government is being taken to task by a local LBGT organization for not living up to its claim of non-discrimination on the basis of sexual orientation. St. Kitts and Nevis Alliance for Equality, or SKNAE, in a press release issued recently, is calling on the government of St. Kitts and Nevis to decriminalize same-sex consensual sexual activity and to uphold its declaration of non-discrimination. This in light of the country's participation in the third Universal Periodic Review, UPR, report on January 19, 2021. St. Kitts and Nevis participated in the 37th session of the Working Group of the United Nations Human Rights Council done virtually last week. Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Civil Aviation, Kay Bass, in her presentation, said St. Kitts and Nevis' participation in the review demonstrates the Federation's commitment to the process as well as human rights. St. Kitts and Nevis reiterates its confidence in this global mechanism which espouses good governance, rule of law, transparency, accountability, etc., and urges all governments to be responsible for developing a human rights environment conducive to the attainment of everyone's fullest potential. But the SKNAE said it takes note of the Federation's silence concerning Acts 56 and 57, which recommends decriminalization of the Bugri laws. The Section 56 of the Offense Against the Person Act states that Bugri incurs up to 10 years imprisonment with or without hard labor. Executive Director of the SKNAE, Tineta McCoy, said, quote, 19 countries called on the Federation to decriminalize same-sex consensual sexual activity in all provisions and take legal and policy measures to eliminate all forms of decriminalization against LBGD persons. P.S. Bass briefly touched on the topic, stating that there is no discrimination in St. Kitts against people on the basis of race, sexual orientation, religion, etc., However, she failed to address existing laws which unjustly criminalize and expose LBGT persons to physical harm, stigma, and discrimination, end quote. Ms. Bass, in her closing remarks, said efforts would be made to get national consultation on the recommendations of the third Universal Periodic Review report. The cross-cutting nature of the UPR processes oblige us to consult, and we have grown to appreciate the value of national stakeholder involvement. The delegation of St. Kitts and the Nevis therefore pledges to engage in short order with civil society nationally to ascertain any concerns and where possible act readily to remedy them. The Eskin Alliance said that due to the impact of COVID-19, efforts must be made to secure human rights of all persons. I'm Andre Huey reporting for SKN Newsline.